This is a review of my illuminated Bible. It is an art journaling edition and it is an ESV. This is a hard copy one I have. This is the green hard copy. They also come in leather. Genuine leather which is quite nice. You have a pattern on the front of it and you also have the same work on the spine of it, on the leather. Now it is quite nice. I actually seen a photo of that one today. Now you also get a um, cloth over board one and that one is blue and you also a leather soft one which is burgundy. This one has a dust cover on it as you can see. The print on this it's actually embossed so you can actually feel it and it's the same on the hard cover as well. It's actually quite nice. These Bibles don't do justice doing these reviews because it's quite a nice Bible, quite a nice artwork inside this Bible. I'm just going to take the dust cover off. There you go. So it's not, it's not a really large Bible. This is my um, Cambridge Concord, my everyday Bible. Now, it's a, it is a bit bigger, just a little. Not, not a great deal by about half an inch either side and it is a bit thicker but it's not as thick as a study bible I've got a few study bibles and this bible is not as thick as a study bible you do have a nice imprint of the ESV as you can see on the inside cover you do have a couple of blank cardstock at the front and you have this very nice presentation page as you can see, you can, it's also embossed as well, so that is quite nice. And you've got your stitching, so it is it is smooth sewn, so it's not going to fall apart on you. You also have a nice picture here. As like I said, th this Bible was a gift, and it is second hand, but and it is quite nice. I really like it, and they've put the tabs on it. So yeah. Okay, so we'll go through it. <coughs> now, this is a 2017 edition, because that's when they came out. With these. And your little information up the top with your copyright information and that sort of stuff. And you have your contents at the front just also explains about the ESV and then we have into the drop the Old Testament now on every book you will see one of these pictures you'll have one of these a different type you have roughly two just over two inches on on the side here for your notes or for journaling whichever you like to do and you, at, at the beginning of every book you also have a whole heap of room up the top so you could actually put in like a an introduction onto the book you make you know your own introduction which is quite nice I mean this book is actually lined marked as what well, is actually lined marked as well for that this paper is actually um, I think it's 42 GSM, it's written in the back here, you will find, it is, it's 40, 42 GSM, line paper, the type, typeface is a lexicon Roman A, it is a 9 font, as you can see it is Smithsonian and R.R. Donnelly and Sons did the printing and binding on this book, it is beautiful this book, just the artwork in it. And the paper is quite nice too. And Cambridge is 40, Cambridge is 46 GSM paper, so it's not far off a Cambridge quality paper. It is, it does have that yellow tinge, but that's that's not too bad. It's, it, the yellow tinge, I think, makes it a little bit bit easier on your on your eyes. It is a black letter, so there is no red red in this Bible. And my favourite photo in this is in actually in Daniel. So I'm going to go to Daniel. Here we go. This is my favourite. Daniel is. 
We've got the tigers, the lion, sorry. It's quite nice. So yeah, you have plenty of room in this for your notes. There's no references and no textual notes at all in this. So if you want to do that, you could actually put your own in. You could actually put your own in on the side because there's enough room in the gutter to actually do your references in the gutter. And you can do your artwork on the outside here. So enough room in the gutters to do that, to do your references. I'll still do your artwork in here if that's what you choose to do. Or if you choose to write notes in it. As you can see, the paper doesn't have any lines on it, which is quite good. So if you write large, not a problem. And if you write a lot smaller, I'll write small. So then you can put more on the page. You don't have the lines getting in your road, which I find, which is, I find that's good. Another one I thought I liked, um, another one that I did actually like, I'm just trying to find it for you, I can't remember which book it was in. This one. This one as well. It's quite nice. Also at the back, you, there's no concordance, there's no maps, there's none of that sort of stuff. Like this is an art journaling bible, or or you could use it as a wide margin notebook. Whichever you can't go wrong, whichever way, because the, like I said, the paper's 40, 42 GSM paper. I mean that's great quality paper. Here you have like the index. You have um, introductions to to each book here, and it explains the design, what they used. Here. See, so Ephesians, it's explaining about the armour of God, and that's why they've used the sword and stuff like that in the middle. That's quite neat reading these ones. I'll just pan down, so if you want to pause it and read some. This is a well-made Bible, so being 42 GSM paper, it would also be acid-free, I would presume. So, so the paper's not going to go all funny and and brittle on you. So it'd be a nice Bible to actually hand down to, you know, to 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 your children or to a niece or nephew, whichever that you prefer. How beautiful! It's a beautiful Bible. Crossway did a nice, really nice job with this Bible. And it does have one ribbon. It does match the colour of the Bible. As you can see, it's a green. It is only one sided satin. And it fits in nicely. You put it off to the side. So it is in straight, it's not crooked. You've got your tail bands front and back. So, yeah. And the gold gilding on this thing is really nice. This would have to be one of the nicest. Um, gilded Bibles I've actually seen. The gold on this is quite nice. And it looks like it's quite thick on here too. It's got a few scratches, but you know, like I said, it's second hand. But yeah, it's very much appreciated this gift because um, I love this Bible. It's nice. I like the artwork in it. Just the artwork itself is nice. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I, I it might not suit a guy, but I don't, I don't think it's really that girlyish either, to tell you the truth. But there's not a lot of, you know, different colours and stuff. But it is. The artwork on this is, they've done an excellent job on this. Also, it tells you who did the artwork. Take the back here. You've got here. Just get that to focus for you. Okay, not focusing, there we go. Okay, all the people that that contributed to the artwork. 
the project, the management and research, the Bible publisher productions for this for it, and the designers and stuff, and also the also the the specs on the on the Bible itself. And as you can see, 42 GSM. Like I said Cambridge is 40 46, so you know it's quite a nice Bible, especially for the price. So that's my review on this Bible. Thank you for watching and catch you next time. Bye.